Uh, call the meeting of the Hammond Common Council to order for January 25th, 2021. Please all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we have a moment of silence for all the lives lost during COVID. Thank you. Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Present. Spatelli. Here. Venez. Here. Kalwinski. Here. Torres. Here. Tyler. Here. Emerson. Here. Rakels. Here. Warple. Here. Let the record show nine present, six by Zoom, three in person, in chambers. Mayor, would you like to address the council? Thanks, Mr. President. How are you guys doing? Nice to see you. I wanted to start off uh, with my report to the council to talk about tonight. We're expected to get three to six inches of snow. I wanted to let the uh, Hammond audience know that we have a full call out scheduled for tonight. We expect the snow to start, well, it's already started, but to continue through the night. Um, we sent all of our employees and public works home a little bit early today because we expect them to work a long evening. So. Public Works will be in for a full call out tonight. Probably pretty soon they'll be showing up and they'll be working until the streets are cleared. It takes us about three hours to clear all the streets in the, ham in the city of Hammond, all the mains, uh, with all of our crew working. So please keep them in mind tonight when we're tucked safely in our beds. Public Works is going to be working, working hard. So I wanted to let everybody know we have plenty of salt and we're ready to go on this. Uh, so we are supposed to get three to six inches tonight. Another thing I wanted to let the council and the public know, I know a number of people are watching the city council meeting right now is I've started a GoFundMe account for a young lady from the city of Hammond uh, that's battling leukemia right now. As a lot of you are probably aware, I participated in St. Baldrick's a number of years, and it's a great organization. It helps combat childhood cancers. However, when you give to St. Baldrick's, which is a great not-for-profit, a lot of the money that you, would you intend to go to certain individuals goes to the nonprofit first. Uh, I figured we're gonna try to skip that whole step this year and try to direct the money right to a Hammond family. So we, working with the school city of Hammond, I wanna thank Scott Miller and the superintendent for the schools for helping us find a great family that, that is very much in need right now. We have a young lady named Ariana Ayaimo. Ayaimo. Uh, she's a sixth grader at Harding Elementary. She's battling, uh, actually she's a fifth grader, excuse me, at Harding Elementary. She's battling leukemia. Uh, she's been battling it since she was 10 years old. She has to undergo daily chemo treatments. She has to go like a spinal infusion, like once every, basically once every 12 weeks. Uh, she's gonna be going through these daily chemo treatments for quite a long time. Obviously the expenses on the family are tremendous. The toll on the family is tremendous. And this family suffered a lot of heartbreak this year. Without going into too much detail, they suffered other losses in the family that are devastating. So besides the fact that they're battling a horrible disease that, you know, with their 10-year-old daughter, they're also fighting a lot of other, you know, effects of the, you know, COVID and the pandemic and the lockup, but this family needs a lot of help right now. So for the Ayamo family, I'm hoping to raise $10,000. We've set up a GoFundMe account. We've already 10% of the way there. We just started it like a couple hours ago. So if you find it in your hearts to try to help a Hammond family, 100% of the money we raise is gonna go towards the Ayamo family um, and they need it badly. So if you have any interest in participating with this GoFundMe, can you please go on the City Hammond, uh, Go Hammond on the city's webpage uh, or you can go on my personal Facebook page where there's information about this GoFundMe. So thank you very much for participating with that. There's a couple other reports I want to make to the council. Um, I've been talking a lot about 2020 excess gaming revenue. Um, last year, we put a spending freeze in as soon as we hit the pandemic, as you all know. We did not spend money, and quite frankly, we still had property tax draws last year, and quite frankly, the boat was open last year, wasn't, and we weren't spending money, which is a wonderful thing for us because we find ourselves in a 
unique position of finishing the year in the black uh, with positive money in the bank. Right now, uh, I know that in the fourth district, Councilman Emerson's carrying money forward, and in the third district, Councilman Barry's carrying money forward. Uh, when I say money, I'm, I'm talking pretty excessive amounts of money uh, that they're carrying forward. Other than that, everybody else is pretty close to zero. Um, and at that point, we plan to drop $4 million into the equation that we created with the Capital Improvement Board, the Rainy Day Fund, uh, the Gaming Advisory Committee, each council district, and mayor's gaming money. We'll get their percentage of the $4 million, give or take a couple bucks, that we're dropping into the equation. You should see that first appropriation at the next council meeting. And then once we appropriate it, it goes into all of our accounts. And, you know, I mentioned to the council last meeting that we're trying to spend backwards instead of spending forwards. This is our first attempt at doing this. And it's, I know that everybody in Hammond probably doesn't want to get into the details of what we're trying to do, but we went almost a full year without spending money, which is the hard part. And what we're trying to do now is instead of spending money that we expect to get in 2021, we're going to spend money that we have in the bank for sure. And right now we know for sure at the December 31st, 2020, we had $4 million in the bank, and that's what we're appropriating now, and we expect to do this every quarter. So March 31st, I'll be making a similar type of report to the council saying we have X number of dollars in the bank, and we appropriate it on the spot. By doing that, we're going to inflate all of our cash balances and all the accounts we have, which is just smart business. You know, instead of spending money we expect to get in 2021 right now, we're spending money that we already got in 2020, and that's a big deal. It really is. It's going to make our city controller's life a lot easier. So we should be approaching the council at the next council meeting, council meeting with our first appropriation of $4 million. I think that's good news. That's money in the bank sitting there collecting interest for us right now. Um, and uh, you know, when I get done, if, if there's any questions, I'll submit myself to them. COVID-19, we still are meeting in the COVID task force. Right now, not much has changed as far as the state of Indiana is concerned. We're still at the same level we've been for a number of weeks. The only thing that's really changed now is uh, vaccine sites. And I just found out a new vaccine site opened in the city of Hammond. I talked to the new owners of North Shore Health Clinics, which is located on 165th in the third district. That's the uh, old Walmart, for those of you that aren't familiar. They're offering vaccines right now at that location. So for those of you that are out there in the public and you want to get your vaccine in the city of Hammond, there are a number of sites throughout the county, but that's one offering to the public right now in the city of Hammond. It's the North Shore Health Clinics. You do have to be age qualified to be able to do that. I don't meet those qualifications yet, but once I do, I'll be getting my shot as well. I know that a lot of our first responders uh, have already been vaccinated at St. Margaret's and places like that, but right now, I still haven't been, for instance, I'm 51 years old and I'm still too young to get vaccinated this time. Uh, so, but if you're interested in becoming vaccinated in the city of Hammond, I would check with North Shore Health Clinics on 165th right there in the third district. Um, I know that this is gonna come up later in the meeting regarding the EID, the Economic Impact District. Um, Councilman Kalwinski, uh, Attorney Berger, and the City of Hammond's Economic Development Team have been working very closely together regarding some uh, technical aspects of the EID, and out of abundance of caution, the council and the mayor have agreed that we're gonna delay this until the next council meeting uh, so that we could clear up some technical deficiencies that may be there. And when we're talking about so much money, we don't wanna take any chances. So we felt that out of a, an abundance of caution, we talked to the data center, uh, Mr. Dockett's from the data center, we felt, all felt that out of an abundance of caution, the next council meeting is the one where we should vote on this. Um, and last, uh, regarding the water litigation, um, we just had a hearing last week where the city of Hammond prevailed on an attempt to include Illinois water into the litigation. Uh, they were not successful. Our, uh, our customer communities in this case. As a reminder, we are in litigation right now with our customer communities regarding the water rate litigation. Uh, all customer communities are due to come up. Highland, Munster, Whiting are due, their contracts are due to expire within the next three or four years, all of them. I'm sure that's something they should probably keep in mind. Uh, and Griffith, customer community of Griffith is, has no contract with Hammond Water. They're expired. So Griffith has to decide in this litigation, if they want to keep litigating, if they want to continue to be customers of Hammond Water, or if they want to find another source of water. That's something Griffith's dealing with right now. Uh, Highland and Munster 
and Whiting have to decide also if they want to continue moving forward with the litigation or if they want to continue being a customer of Hammond Water. And then we have the opportunity within the next couple of years of deciding if we want them as customers. Quite frankly, this litigation is getting a little testy. So that's my update to the council. I'm available to answer any questions. Does yeah. anybody have any questions for the mayor? Mr. Chairman. Councilman Kowinski. Have we had an update, or, or did I miss what happened with the Joliet water? Thank you, Mark. Uh, Councilman Mark. No, we have not. That should come any time now. As a reminder to the council, the Joliet water situation is something where Joliet's deciding between hooking up to the city of Chicago and being subject to the rates set by the Chicago Water Company, or having a fresh water pipeline go from Joliet across Illinois, across basically the Robertsdale part of Hammond into Lake Michigan where it would take raw water and pipe it all the way out to Joliet, city of Hammond would get basically a carrying fee for carrying that water across our city. It, our proposal to Joliet was more expensive than just hooking up to Chicago. So I imagine what they're going through right now in Joliet is, do we want to pay more now and be energy and water independent, we'll never be subject to the Chicago mayor's water rate increases, or do we want to just go cheap right now and just hook right up to the Chicago Water Company? That's something they have to decide. But I believe, Kevin, when are they supposed to decide that to uh, Joliet? By the end of January, so it's got to be, you know. Very soon, Councilman Mark, by the end of January, if you didn't hear Kevin. Thank you. Does anybody else have any further questions for the mayor? Any further questions for the mayor? Thanks, Councilman. Thank you, Mayor. Item number three, the reading of minutes. Mr. President. Councilman Spitali. Make a motion to accept the minutes from July, January 11, 2021. Can you put it place on file, please? Okay. Motion's been made by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Councilman, or Councilwoman Venez, I believe. Is there any discussion? Any, any discussion? Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Item number four, approval of claims. Mr. President. Councilman Rakos. Make a motion to pay claims dated 1-13-2021 and ending with claims dated 1-20-21. Claim number 101 through claim 344 in the amount of $13,154,270.52. Second. Motion has been made to accept the claims as written by Councilman Rako, sec seconded by Councilwoman Venez. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. Spitelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kalwinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. Yes. Rakels. Yes. Warple. Yes. Let the record show claims are approved. Nine in favor, zero opposed. Item number five, notice, uh, I'm sorry. Public hearings, there are none. Item number six, communications. Is there anybody that has any communications? Hearing none, communications are now closed. Item number seven, committee reports. Uh, Council, did I hear, who did, was it Councilwoman Alexander or Vernez, or both? I thought it was Councilman Spitali. I'm sorry, Councilman. Um, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, regardless, uh, okay. Uh, council as a whole will be bringing out 2101. Okay, is there any other committee reports? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, I would like to report on the Capital Improvements Board. Uh, we did not meet uh, um, on the, I think it was the 18th of January, due to the uh, MLK holiday. So our last meeting was February 11th. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, January 11th. The next meeting will be on February 1st with a work study 
uh, session at 4.30 in the afternoon and a regular meeting at 5 p.m. And one more, Mr. President. Uh, Community and Crime Watch. Uh, the citywide will be hosting a Crime Watch meeting, uh, and I misspoke at the last council meeting. The correct date is Thursday, January 28th at 6 p.m. That will uh, be a virtual meeting. It will be on the Hammond, Indiana Police Department Facebook page. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, the community policing officers will be there. They will be discussing the statistics from each of the areas and um, uh, we'll be having some other discussions. Uh, as usual, if you see anything suspicious, please do not hesitate to call 911. Uh, practice safety in your neighborhood uh, and when you are out and about uh, by wearing your mask, uh, be sure to wash your hands, practice social distancing, uh, all for the protection of uh, you and your neighbors, because community is not just about me. It's about us. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I got the dumbest ringtones on my phone, and I forgot to shut it off. Sorry about that. Uh, is there anybody else that has anything on the committee reports? Mr. President. Councilwoman Alexander. Here's our COVID updates. For 46320, uh, we are an additional 117 cases from our last meeting. For 46327, we're in an additional 137 new cases from our last meeting. For 46323, an additional 242 cases. 46324, an additional 228 cases. 46394, an additional 110 cases. That takes us to 834 new cases from the last meeting. Um, as always, we'll constantly say continue to mask up. We know that the vaccine is out for certain individuals, but until that time comes um, for each person to be vaccinated, if they choose to, that you wear your mask so that you can help protect others while you're wearing your mask. You're helping to protect someone else while they're wearing their mask. They're helping to protect you. Continue to stay six feet apart or more, and don't forget to wash your hands and sanitize. Um, that is our truly our hope that we can hurry up and get out of this pandemic as soon as possible so that we can kind of go back to a new normal. Thank you, Councilwoman Alexander. Does anybody else have any committee reports? Anybody else have any committee reports? Hearing none, committee reports are now closed. Item number eight, ordinances, third and final passage. Ordinance 21-1 sponsored by Councilman Spatelli. And ordinance to repeal ordinances 7337, 8036, 8489, 8906, 8907, 8908, 8909, 8910, 8911, also known as Chapter 119 of Title 11 of the Hammond Municipal Code, and adopt and enact. Chapter 109 of Title 11 of the Haven Municipal Code relating to business licensing in the city. Mr. President. Councilman Spitali. I move for final passage of 2101. Second. Motion has been made for final passage and adoption by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Councilwoman Venez. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilman Spitali. The goal for this ordinance is to revise the update the general business license ordinance in Hammond Municipal Code. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. Patelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kowinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. Yes. Rakels. Yes. Warpo. Yes. Let the record show ordinance 2101 passes nine in favor, zero opposed.
President Warpel, that concludes the ordinances for final passage. Thank you. Council, uh, item number nine, introduction of ordinances. Item eight, ordinance 21-02, sponsored by Councilman Spatelli. And ordinance to amend ordinances 4872, amending ordinance 8715, 8717, 9133, also known as Chapter 122 of Title 11 of the Hammond Municipal Code relating to peddler and pop-up vendor licensing in the city. President. Councilman, Councilman Spitali. Go through first and second reading with uh, council as a whole, lined up for February 8th, 2021 for a five o'clock meeting. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Councilwoman Venez for council as a whole on February 8th at 5 p.m. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Hearing number, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Item B, Ordinance 21-03, sponsored by Councilman Spitali. And ordinance amending ordinance number 8514 being an ordinance establishing a zoning plan for the city of Hammond in order to provide for orderly growth and development within the city, all in accordance with the comprehensive land use plan for purposes of amending title 21 signed to incorporate revised positions for the prohibited and temporary signs. Councilwoman? Go ahead, Councilman. Right. Councilman Spitali. Second reading, Council as a whole, with a 515 meeting set up for February 8th, 2021. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Councilwoman Venez for Council as a whole on February 8th, 2021 at 515 with an intent to consider on the 8th? That is correct. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Councilwoman Vanessa, it was brought to my attention in um, caucus. Did you want your name added to this as a sponsor? Yes, if you would, please. That was my next motion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Councilwoman Venez wants to be added as a sponsor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. President Warple, that concludes the introduction of ordinances. Item number 10, resolutions. Item A, resolution 21R-2. The petitioners are the Plan Commission and the Hammond Redevelopment Commission. The sponsor is Councilman Spatelli. A resolution of the Common Council of the City of Hammond, Indiana, approving Plan Commission Resolution 2021-01 as the written order approving Redevelopment Commission Resolution 01-2012 and amending declaratory resolution regarding certain matters in connection with the downtown number one urban renewal area. President. Councilman Spitali. Move for final passage of 21R-02. Okay. Motion has been made for final passage of resolution 21R02 by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Councilwoman Venez. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. Spitali. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kalwinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. Rakels? Yes. Warpole? Yes, let the record show resolution 21R-02 passes, nine in favor, zero opposed. Item B, 
Resolution 21Rs-03, sponsored by Councilman Rakels. A resolution confirming the reappointment of Gabriela Gallegos as a commissioner of the Hammond Human Relations Commission of the City of Hammond, Indiana. Mr. President. Councilman Rakos. Make motion approved. Resolution 21R3 to uh, reappoint Gabriela Gallegos. Second. Motion has been made for reappointment of 21R 03 by Councilman Rakos. Seconded by Councilman Spitali. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilman Rakos. Right now, Gabriela is out of the country right now because of a family emergency, but she'll be back in, in time to, to uh, attend the Human Relations Commission meetings. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Is there any further discussion? Is there any further discussion? Clerk Golick, roll call on the resolution. Alexander. Yes. Spatelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kowinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. Emerson. He's froze. <laughs> Rakels. Yes. Warpo. Yes. Let the record show eight in favor, one absent. Item C. Resolution 21R4, sponsored by Councilman Tyler. A resolution confirming the reappointment of Ann Herbert as a commissioner of the Hammond Human Relations Commission of the City of Hammond, Indiana. Mr. President. Councilman Tyler. Yeah, I move for a final passage of 21R02. Second. Motion has been made by Councilman right. Tyler, seconded by Councilwoman Venez. Uh, just so you guys are aware, Ann is present. If anyone has any questions, is there any discussion? Mr. President, I misspoke. It should be 21R04. I apologize. Pardon me? I misspoke in my motion. I said 21R02. It should be 21R04. Correct. I'm sorry. <laughs> is there anybody who has any questions for Ms. Herbert? Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. Spitelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kowinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. Rakels. Yes. Warpole. Yes, let the record show nine yes, zero opposed on resolution 21R04. Item D, resolution 21R05, sponsored by Councilman Rakels. A, res a resolution confirming the reappointment of Alberto Ochoa as a commissioner of the Hammond Human Relations Commission of the City of Hammond, Indiana. Mr. President. Councilman Rikos. I'd like to bring forth the resolution confirming the reappointment of Alberto Ochoa as commissioner of the Human Relations Commission. Second. Motion's been made by Councilman Rikos, seconded by Councilman Torres before we had just, just so you guys know, Mr. Ochoa is present. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilwoman Vanessa. Uh, be before we move on uh, uh, past the Human Relations uh, Commission, I would like to say that I have attended some of the Human Relations Commission's meeting, and all three of these commissioners are uh, um, a great contribution to the commission, and uh, I'm very proud to vote to reappoint all three of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. 
Vitaly. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kalwinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. I saw his lips move. I mean, can you take that as a yes? He's on mute, but he said yes. He did say yes, okay. Yes. Rakel. Yes. yes. Warpo. Yes, let the record show 21 RO5 passes, nine in favor, zero opposed. Item E, resolution 21R-06, sponsored by Councilman Tyler and Councilwoman Alexander. A resolution proclaiming the first week of February of every year as National School Counseling Week in the city of Hammond. Mr. President. Councilman Tyler. I move for final passage of 21R06. Second. Motion's been made by Councilman Tyler, seconded by Councilman Spitali. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilman Tyler. Uh, once again, this was brought to our attention by Dr. Michelle Rushing with the School City of Hammond. Um, and they're just trying to garner some support for our guidance counselors within the city who work, uh, who work their tails off to try to get students, of course, through high school and get them to succeed in college. So we just wanted to do our part to help recognize all of our guidance counselors throughout the School City of Hammond and say job well done, especially during the pan pandemic and, and trying to figure out the virtual world of support for students outside of the classroom. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Golick, roll call. Alexander. Yes. Vitelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kalwinski. Yes. Torres. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Emerson. He's froze again. Emerson. Rakels. Yes. Warpel. Yes, let the record show. Did, I'll ask the guys on Zoom, did you hear a response from Mr. Emerson? Because we didn't hear it in here. No. no. Oh, he's back now. You might okay. want to try again now. Councilman Emerson on 21R06. Yes, I, my computer keeps throwing me off. <laughs> it's fine. So let the record show nine in favor, zero opposed. President. Warpo, that concludes the reading of the resolutions. Thank you, Clerk Golick. Item number 11, new and unfinished business. Councilman Kowinski. Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to give a quick update regarding the Ordinance 20-30, which has to do with the EID for the data center project. I uh, want to let everybody know that uh, it's clear that the administration is in full support of of getting this moved forward. The council, when we had a council as a whole committee meeting last week, a couple of the council actually asked if they could have the data center in their own districts. Uh, I am delighted and thrilled that this is coming to fruition very soon and in my district. And uh, I've asked attorneys at the council at, uh, as a whole committee meeting uh, about their view on this project and redevelopment, the city attorney, uh, the outside attorney, uh, all agreed that this was a good project for the city of Hammond and I agree with that. Uh, however, we have a in, um, uh, an internal procedural issue that we can best fix by having a public hearing at the next council meeting on 2821 at the council meeting. So I would like to make a motion to have a public hearing notice for 2821 at 6 p.m., at which time we'll hold a public hearing. And at the end of that meeting, we'll bring out the, the ordinance for final passage and uh, passage. So I appreciate everybody's uh, efforts in understanding and moving this project along, uh, including Mr. Dakich and all his people who are just wonderful to work with. We're looking forward to uh, passage in a couple weeks and moving this project along, and thank you. So noted that 
A public hearing is scheduled for February 8, 2021. I need a second. I'm, I'm, pardon I'll me? I'll second that. I need a second. Oh, is there a second made? I'm sorry. Second. Motion made by Councilman Spitali, seconded by Council. I'm sorry, motion made by Councilman Kowinski, seconded by Councilman Spitali for a public hearing to be scheduled on February 8, 2021. Any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Is there any other new and unfinished business? Chairman. Councilman. I believe Mr. Dockage uh, is at the podium. You want to go ahead and let Mr. Dockage speak? Yes, yeah. please. Mr. Dockage. 30 seconds. I want to thank you, um, Mr. President, Councilman Mark, uh, the mayor, his staff. This is what leadership looks like. We are uh, working through brand new revolutionary ways to finance projects. Um, it's the reason in Indiana we, uh, we do things better. It's the reason that Hammond is, is our preferred home. It's because of the way we're working together. And I want to thank Councilman Mark um, for holding us to, accountable for making everything right. And um, the city clerk has been wonderful in this. We've, everybody's put a lot of effort into this. The mayor's office has, has, given, has given us an unbelievable amount of leadership. And this is a day in which I'm really proud to be a Hoosier. Um, because of, of the amount of leadership that everybody in the room has shown. So thank you very much. We're thrilled with, uh, with, with, with Councilman Mark giving us all this uh, guidance and holding our feet to the fire. Mr. Dockage, I would like to thank you for your patience and let you know that we had that, you know, we had that special caucus meeting the other day and I didn't hear anything that made me believe that there's nobody not in favor of this project. And I commend all you guys, the city, Councilman, mark yourself on uh, the project that you're bringing to Hammond. My goal is to is to make Hammond and the data center in Hammond the best it can possibly be, and you guys make it really easy for me. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other new and unfinished business? Is there any other new and unfinished business? New and unfinished business is closed. Public expression. There's no one here but Mr. Do Mr. Dockage. Would you like to speak? <laughs> Uh, is anybody on Zoom wishing to speak? I only see George. Is there? With appearing no one wants to speak in public expression, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion's been made. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 I, have it. I remind um, uh, Ann Herbert and who is the other one on there? I see. Oh, Alberto Ochoa to stick around and get sworn in by Clerk Golick. Bob Berger, or Attorney Berger, could you state as well, too, please?